Today, we are making three different giant oatmeal cookies. Now we've got an oatmeal raisin version for you, which is my husband's favorite. We're making a lemon oatmeal cookie, which is the most popular cookie recipe on my blog. And then my personal favorite, a salted white chocolate oatmeal cookie. We're gonna take the same oatmeal cookie recipe and with just a few tweaks, we're gonna make it three different ways. Join me in the kitchen as we make small batch recipes with big taste. All right, several weeks ago, I shared another video where we made three uh, giant cookies. You can find that up there. And on that video, I asked you what other giant cookie recipe did you want to see? And your number one choice was oatmeal raisin. So that's what we're going to start with now is our oatmeal raisin. We're going to take two tablespoons of softened butter. And because we're mixing this by hand, make sure it's nice and soft. And then we are going to add in two tablespoons of granulated sugar and two tablespoons of brown sugar. All right, we're gonna mix our sugars together, get that sugar and butter nice and creamy and incorporated. All right, so our butter and sugars are creamed and then we're gonna add in our egg. Now in these small batch cookies, we are only gonna use one tablespoon of beaten egg. Don't put the whole egg in, your cookies will be too eggy. Save those about four tablespoons of egg uh, in an egg and we're gonna save the rest of it for some of those other giant cookies that we're making later. You can always freeze egg too and pull it out when you need it. All right, to that we're gonna add a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna eyeball it because a little bit more vanilla never hurt anybody. And then get all of that together and we'll add in our dry ingredients. For our dry ingredients, we're gonna start with our flour and I have got a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of all purpose flour. We're gonna add in just a pinch, I use a pinch just kind of between my two fingers of salt. We're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And I had to have my off camera helper here remind me. And then just a pinch, a dash of nutmeg. All right, add all that together and then we'll be ready to add in. I like to just get it a little bit mixed up here. We're gonna add in our oats. Now I'm gonna use old fashioned oats today, but you can totally use a quick oats if that's what you have. Um, with the old fashioned oats, you just get a little chewier of a cookie than if you're using the quick oats. And then we've gotta add in, of course, the raisins. If you got these little snack packs, they're exactly the right amount. It's a quarter cup of raisins. Now, if I were making these cookies for me, these would totally be chocolate chips going in here, but this cookie's for my husband and he loves raisins. And then if you like nuts in your baked good, you can add in two tablespoons. I'm using a chopped walnut, a chopped pecan would also be great. We're ready to uh, put our cookie into the oven. I have a line just a, I just use a little quarter sheet pan here. And we're gonna form the cookie dough into a disc, okay? Um, it's about three to three and a half inches across. Let's move that out of the way and just kind of form it into a nice little circle. Pat it down so that it measures, like I said, about three, three and a half inches across because it's gonna spread as it bakes. We're gonna put it into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 14 minutes. All right, so while that oatmeal raisin one is cooking, let's go ahead and make the, the lemon oatmeal one. And we're gonna start with the same ingredients, but we're gonna make just a couple of little tweaks. And so we've got our butter. Now, instead of using white sugar and brown sugar, we are using all, so we're using four tablespoons of granulated sugar, no brown sugar. And then we're gonna add in our one tablespoon egg, just like we did before. And then our other change is going to be that we are gonna add in about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but we are also gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of a lemon extract. You know, you can measure it, you can eyeball it. If you get a little bit more in, that's okay. It's just more lemon goodness. And then the other thing we're gonna add in is a half of a teaspoon of lemon zest. And this is gonna give it just the right amount of lemon loveliness. Then the rest of our cookie is exactly the same. We've got a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, 
a pinch of salt, and a third of a cup of oats. And again, I'm using old-fashioned oats. And mix that all together. All right, we're going to form our cookie just like we did the oatmeal one. Now, if there's some favorite giant cookie you would like me to make, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what cookie it would be. Don't forget to check out those other ones in addition to that giant um, chocolate chip cookie recipe I have already uh, here on this channel. So there we go. This one's going to go in the oven too for about 14 minutes, 350 degrees. So now for my favorite of the salted white chocolate chip. And now with this one, we only have to make a couple of tweaks too. We're going to do the butter and sugar like we did with the oatmeal one with two tablespoons of softened butter, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and two tablespoons of brown sugar. We'll add in our one tablespoon of egg and a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. The difference in this cookie, it doesn't come until the very end. Okay, just like all the others, we're gonna add in a quarter cup and two tablespoons of flour and a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, our third of a cup of oats, and then here's the difference for, well, there's two differences. First one is we're going to add in about a fourth of a cup of chocolate chips, or they're not chocolate, they're white chocolate chips. And I would like to save a few that I'm going to put on at the top of the cookie before we put it into the oven. So mix that all up. Okay, our dough is all mixed up. Just like all the other ones, we are going to put it into a round disc, slightly flatten it about three, three and a half inches across, and then... We're gonna take those chocolate, white chocolate chips I reserved and just put them in on top. I think it just makes the cookie look a little prettier. And add those. And then the final difference, the final touch, the thing that really takes this cookie over of the top, yummy, is some flaky salt. And I'm using a Maldon flaky salt. Um, just use some kind of flaky, coarse salt. A coarse kosher salt would work. Um, just don't use like the stuff in your salt shaker and we're going to put a light dusting of salt on top of this And then it's ready to go in the oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 14 minutes So our giant cookies are done. They are just the perfect amount of cookie for one to two people You can eat it all yourself or share if you want I'm gonna save the oatmeal raisin for my husband and I'm gonna enjoy part of this white chocolate chip oatmeal cookie and Leave me a comment, let me know which one you'd pick, and we'll see you in the next video.